around the country to discover unique, exotic desserts. The cannellis are one of the top five baked goods that I've ever had in my life. These date rose truffles. I don't think you've ever tasted anything like it. I think most Americans aren't used to seeing Japanese flavors mixed in with their pastries. How could wasabi be a dessert item? So you see this profitable cake and you think, what is this cake of balls? This is a cake that you have to eat animal style. I mean, just go in with your hands and rip it apart. These are unique sweets. Takahachi Bakery is one of those bakeries that you would find almost any street corner of Japan, but it's really unusual to find it in the United States. It's located in Tribeca in Lower Manhattan. It's exquisite, it's detailed, it's often so pretty you don't want to eat it, yet when you actually do, it's delicious. You can get breads, cookies, or pastries, but each one has a very unique Japanese flavor. They have croissants, but they're not normal croissants. These croissants are coated in green tea. They make these breakfast buns that are filled with mochi or red bean. Instead of a lemon tart, it'll be exactly. a tart, which is Japanese citrus. The pastries are still really sweet, but with these Japanese flavors, it gives a whole other dimension of taste. Hi, Inakai, how are you? Kimi Kobayashi is the manager of Takahachi Bakery. When you're going into an exotic, slightly different world like this, it's helpful to have a curator. This one is more likely plain croissant. When people come in the first time, they really don't know what to expect. They're really surprised that what we have, so many varieties, so many buns, so many pastries. I think people don't realize that there's a whole side of Japanese food that we're not aware of, it, and they do a fantastic job of introducing that to the American public. You find everything okay? Yes. Good. For me, nothing is more emblematically Japanese than the wasabi orange mousse. Wasabi is spicy thing we use for sushi. However, we thought it's kind of unique that we put in mousse. You're beginning to think, wait, wasabi is Japanese horseradish. How is this going to work? To make this wonderful wasabi mousse, she mixes wasabi paste into a creme anglaise, which is like a custard and she folds that into some whipped cream and meringue mixture. For the orange mousse, they take that same whipped cream meringue mixture and fold in vanilla custard with mandarin puree. You start off with a layer of sponge cake, and then on top of that, you're adding a layer of wasabi mousse. And then they take another sponge cake and a thin layer of orange gelée. And on top of that, you have more orange mousse. They sprinkle it with powdered sugar and put these beautiful mandarin oranges on top and decorate it with a little bit of wasabi glaze. It's sweet, but not so sweet, which is what I like, actually. It has just enough wasabi to stimulate your senses, but not clear out your sinuses. What the Japanese are actually known for is their French technique when it comes to dessert making. One great French classic at the Takahachi Bakery is the crepe. But they do that with green tea powder. When you first see it, it looks like a spinach burrito. It's a traditional French crepe made with eggs, milk, sugar, and then they add green tea powder, which makes it that bright green color. For the filling, she takes cream, sugar, and rum and red beans cooked with sugar until they turn into this nice, thick, sticky paste. It's almost similar to a light peanut butter, but the red bean has this nice little earthy tone. The filling is spread out on the crepes, then they're all folded over and dusted with more of this green tea powder. What I love most about this green tea crepe is that it shows how the Japanese are always so restrained in terms of the sweetness in a pastry. It's very cold and creamy, lots of nuance of flavors. Very good. What I think makes Takahachi special is that it is pairing the familiar and the unfamiliar in a really positive, cool way. Wasabi. And red bean and all of these Japanese flavors that you're familiar with, but here they are in pastry form. You can really tell Takahachi's the real deal because three-fourths of their clientele are Japanese. You almost can't go wrong in trying anything. You're gonna get something that's traditional and filled with love. I love my job. Food can make people happy. That's my passion. Anything that makes people smile, that's what I like. 
for a sweet taste of the Mediterranean, head to Soka. If I could take all the all the candy bars that I grew up with and make them into one perfect candy bar, it would be the sesame cashew bar. South America meets Miami at Charlotte Bakery. You're going to find desserts like a Quattro Leches cup. So three milks, you have four milks. 